This is a non-German's guide to wearing lederhosen. If you think of Germany, you probably picture Oktoberfest. Thousands of Germans dressed in lederhosen and dirndl, all drinking huge glasses of beer. It's currently nearing the end of September, and that's when Oktoberfest is running in Munich. Oktoberfest is the world's largest folk fest. Held annual in Munich since 1810, it's a 16-day folk festival running from mid or late September to the first weekend in October, with more than 6 million from around the world visiting each year. Oktoberfest is a Bavarian event and not a nationwide festival like a lot of people think. It's only in Bavaria. Now personally, we live in a different state. We live in Baden-Württemberg. Here we have a different event called the Kanstadter Volksfest. It's in Stuttgart and runs for three weeks. It's not exactly a beer festival, but it's considered by a lot of people to be the second largest beer festival in the world after Oktoberfest in Munich, with about four million visitors each year. Now the topic of this video is about lederhosen, so let's get to it. Now after doing some research, I found that the common thought is that if you're going to wear lederhosen, then you must do it right. Germans are fine with foreigners wearing lederhosen, but find it awful and tacky when people wear cheap costume lederhosen. People often think that everyone in Germany wears lederhosen, but the fact is, a large majority of people don't. Lederhosen is a Bavarian tradition, and if you visit Munich, you will see people wearing it when you walk around town, but not everyone. Just a few. Now you don't have to wear lederhosen to these festivals. You can wear what you want, but if you want to look the part, here's what you need and how much it'll cost. Now there are two types of lederhosen, short and long. Proper lederhosen will set you back anywhere from 170 euros to 2,000. It all depends on the type of leather. Cheap ones are made of cow leather, and the more expensive are made from deer. Shirt. Usually a plaid long sleeve shirt is the way to go. The choice of colour is up to you, but Chris has a blue one, and I have an older style white one. If you can find a shirt with a button and a strap for the sleeves, go for that. It'll serve no other purpose other than avoiding pushing them up every few minutes. Socks. Now there are two types of socks that you can wear with your lederhosen. There are the long socks and the ones that I have here. Now the ones that I have are a bit more traditional Bavarian and they're a bit harder to find but if you can find them they come in a lot of different colours. Now the general rule is if you're wearing short lederhosen you'll wear your long socks pulled up under your knees and if you wear the long ones like Chris does, you generally wear them pushed down around your ankles. Shoes. Now to top off your look, you do have the option of wearing the traditional shoes. Obviously these are not a massive issue and you don't actually need to buy them, but make sure you try and match your choice of shoes with your outfit. If you choose to spend a bit more money, there are some other accessories that you can wear with your lederhosen. You can wear a vest with your lederhosen. They come in a lot of different styles and colours, and there is no rule about what colour vest you should wear with your lederhosen. You can also wear one of these jackets. You can find these anywhere, and they cost from around 150 to 600 euros, depending on where you shop. Hats. You can find these hats practically anywhere at the festivals, and they go from around 15 euros. You don't need these accessories though, and if you are visiting for just a week, then probably don't spend your money on these items. Save it for the beer at the festivals. So if you're visiting Germany and going to either one of these festivals, hopefully this video has helped you. And remember to stay away from the cheap tourist lederhosen. Try your best to stick to the look, but most importantly, have a good time. You're there to drink and enjoy the culture and the atmosphere, so do that. Lederhosen isn't the most important thing about these festivals for you.